Hello and welcome to this um, episode of our Let's Play on the Great American Farming Map. So, uh, we've been fast forwarding a few days and now we have some sort of growth here in this field and uh, more growth in this field over here. Uh, we have 10 days in every growth cycle, it takes forever things to happen. As I guess in real life, too. So this is nice, it works. Um, uh, to new we actually think we need to put some more PK on this one. If we want to, otherwise, it will be too low when it's time to harvest. Um, we seem to be we have to put both N and PK on this one. Hmm. Weird, I think I did that a few times. Okay, anyway, so I did. Uh, I did make some quite a lot of money and I have bought my lovely new Holland which I will demo before a few episodes back. Uh, our T7 to 40. So we have a new Holland. It's cool. That's a beautiful track. Um, but it, we, that's one of the things we have to do later on. Uh, fertilize our fields, but um, firstly we have to give our cows some food. And I think we're sort of soon running out of food. So in this, in our balls, in our coming back and forth with our skids too. So this is the boring part of this being a dairy farmer. so much and P and K and why I can't get it to work with soil mode. Uh, oh, oh, okay, so maybe I should move to this one first. So it was almost full. The new pilot just go in you go start with spreading it on some sort of field but then we need to buy some more fields. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much slurry slurry we have. Uh it's amount cows. Slurry we have where's the slurry? That big hundred and forty four thousand liters. So quite a lot. Only for then you could spend slower on the field. Maybe that would I could see if uh that improves. I'm not sure. I don't really remember. There is a lot of different aspects of soil mod when it comes to spreading slurry and manure and you have to cultivate it and not cultivate it and otherwise it, uh, nothing happens. Sort of As usual, and I apologize for that. You can short call this the Andrews Kids Show. Let's see if I can get this one out without completely. Uh, oh, okay, just push it on. So yesterday, uh, when I was recording an episode of the North Brabant uh, map, I encountered quite a weird problem. For some reason, 
and I think because it disappeared later, later on, I think I was I was uploading uh, one video to YouTube at the same time, so that was sort of taking um, taking this information from my D drive, uh, and when I when I started then trying to record a new episode, I was putting information into D drive, and. I think that, that might have been the problem, so I got it got ex oh. Oh, okay, that's good. So it got extremely laggy. Got sometimes down to six frames per second. Nine frames per second. Which is extremely I, I would want to watch it. It looked horrible when I watched it. And I later went um, to and watch the video I recorded. It, it was actually so terrible that I decided not to even put it up because it would have been horrible for you to see. You would have just been bugged out of hell of from it, and you wouldn't want to watch more episodes for hopefully ever because I would be the lag guy. So I decided not to put it up. I re-recorded that one this morning and it turned out pretty good. Cows, cows, cows. Not some food for the cows. I really like this this mixer and it works out oh, pretty good. It's on dirty good. I guess in real life this uh, process would probably take longer actually. So I should maybe shouldn't be whining about it. Just be happy that I don't have to do it so much, but I mean we have to do it one more just in this growth cycle because we're up to We are on day 9 of 10. No, sorry, we're on day 2 of 10, actually. We have 9 days left in this course. So, lots of this. That's 2. Luckily, you can take 2 at a time, so it sort of works out pretty good. This makes a wagon hill. It's an 8,000 more we could afford the inside of time. Oh. Yeah, nice. I think that's a deer. We definitely don't give it. Not you'd. Glad you didn't. Good. That was cool too, but do you have to? So now we take some more hay. Before this game, I didn't know the difference between hay and straw. So I guess. Det är en här bilden här, det här jag spelar, och det, den spelar in det. Det är, det är typ som en kamera som spelar in vad jag gör här på den här skärmen. My son is asking why I have a picture of, the same picture on both screens. So I'm explaining that one is the game and one is the OBS software where I'm recording. This software is really amazing. And I think that's a really big. What's going on? Really? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You want to go and play Lego? I told him to do that. Uh, anyway, um, I think the OBS software is really truly amazing, and, and in some ways, 
It has to. Because earlier we used traps and they had to pay for every one, otherwise you would get a free version where you would have some sort of icon like blue screen and stuff. So, um, and it cost money, so it wasn't that great. It was pretty good, but not as obvious. Not the same thing as OBS. Maybe perhaps today is has developed and is better. Uh, but anyway, Fred OBS for instance one thing it's free. It makes everyone that wanna record stuff and put it on uh, YouTube can do that. So that's amazing. It really that's really like a really revolutionary thing. Revolutionary thing. So, I think we're watching a revolution, revolution when it comes to um, me social media and content, um, being able to put content out, which, which early was mostly for people that uh, had resources and money and know-how. Now we can do it pretty much like this. You don't have to know very much, you can watch it, download. OBS, watch a couple of tutorials, set it up, and then you're pretty good to go. Oh, whatever done, I bought the microphone. That's about it. And I haven't bought a game, of course, but I already had a game. And that's it. Yeah. From there, and then on, there on. Yes, you can do these things. It's cool. I think this is amazing age we're living in. Once listened to a famous Swedish historian, uh, and he was asked, "Which era would you ra would you want to be living?" And he said, "Said today." And when they asked why, well, today is pretty great compared to every other historic era ever. Uh, today we have like plumbing and stuff. That was a big problem a couple hundred years ago. There were no plumbing, which meant to diseases, which meant to people dying, suffering and dying, people died young, children died, the, the tremendous amount of children that died. I mean, that was so much has happened in the world, <coughs> and sometimes we forget about that it actually happened in the entire world. We think that maybe it only happened in the western part of the world, but it hasn't. It's been truly amazing. And development in the entire world. That's why we are so many people on this planet. Simply because people have got it better. People can live in Scotland. In all, in all countries, ch mortality in children has. I mean, half to be close. It's so l low compared to historic numbers. But it's amazing. Today we can save children that are born in a week. And 28 or something, no, 26, 27, compared to they never had a chance for. Um, just, I think it's so cool. Sometimes we forget about how nice things are in this world. We, we focus a lot on the bad stuff and things that happen and, and there's happening a lot of bad things bad stuff wars is terrible this the crisis in Syria ongoing going on, on now is just horrendous actually and it makes me really sad just thinking about it but there are children dying and last week a hundred children died in Aleppo children I mean come on look at my children it makes me really sad happy that we're not living there and we're not surrounded by war and I wish I could do more for the people and children there are and I think we should do more but that's my personal view um, uh, and there's things that are bad in the world but we, we we mustn't just focus we have to remember the good things too Same things are always complex everything is complex People are. Things are happening. Uh, people are. Uh, countries are developing. If there's so much good in the world. There's so much beauty in the world. If we just see it. I got a question from a client working the other day. 
because I've been doing this for about 13 years, this is my 13th year I think in the social welfare system, welfare services, <coughs> and he asked me if it wasn't hard and it doesn't, how do you manage to cope with all the misery you see? And I said, well, I don't see a lot of misery. I see some misery, but absolutely, there's no, no point in not, uh, not acknowledging that fact. I do see some misery, um, but I see so much beauty too. I see so much amazing feelings. I see parents really loving their children. I see parents doing everything that they can so they can be with their children. I see. Uh, Sometimes people do stupid things. I do stupid things too. But we mustn't forget that there are some really... And I say I wouldn't be able to cope with this work if I didn't want to have, have, to have fun at work. And I do. We do have fun, me and my colleagues and my clients do. We laugh them quite a bit. But I also think that if I didn't take the time and see the beauty that's in front of me, I would get so cynical. And that's a choice. And that's a choice you have. You can always you can always find crappy things about every, every line of work. And God, I sound pretentious now. Uh, you you can always find things that aren't working, should be better and uh, I whine a bit, I'll admit it, I whine a bit about my work, stuff that doesn't work. For instance, our computer systems, which is totally crap. Um, it makes my work so much harder. But I also see so much beauty in this world, so much fantastic emotions, I see parents loving their children. I do. I see parents doing stupid things to the children, but I see so many good things. And it's a, it's a conscious decision on my part to see that. I could just ignore it and say that all oh, old parents are so horrible and stupid to the kids. And uh, but I don't do that. I don't. I don't feel that. No. My son is getting it sort of tantrum. I have to go see what is wrong with him. Be back. Hello, Alice. Lego broke and that's not easy when you're four and a half and it's early in the morning <coughs> excuse me uh, early in the morning you haven't eaten your breakfast yet Lego breaking is like mm, um, the world's way of saying screw you I think if you're four and a half and it's early in the morning you haven't had, haven't had breakfast so anyway um, I'm not gonna torture you with watching me just filling this up so uh, I think next episode we'll do some. <laughs> you can see me. <laughs> you can hear my son in the background. I'm thinking. I'm guessing my microphone picks it up pretty good. Um, I I will continue this offline. Next time we will do some spraying of the fields, uh, or maybe we could put slurry slurry on it. I'll, I'll do some research on that. To see if the slurry works. Or even if you don't cultivate it into into the ground. So anyway, thank you for watching, and um, any feedback is greatly appreciated. And hope you enjoyed the show. This is God is whining. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, take care, and see you soon. Bye bye.